youngest of seven, because seven months ago, my cousin phoned me and told me she'd found a book of births and marriages and my six brothers and sisters had all been baptised, but not me. All my life, I've never ever been treated by genuine people. They've let me down and I just felt I'd got to be christened. Elated, excited and happy. And when I walked into the church and saw all the people there, I was just full. I felt really wanted. I was crying with happiness. Everyone in the congregation came and gave me hugs and I felt that I was actually with a full family. They were my family. All I can remember is I was 14 months old. Next thing is the RSPCC came because we were left apparently on the doorstep. My mother had gone. Where my dad was, I don't know. My sisters and them all got split. They put me into the Burton Workhouse Nursery and I stayed there till I was six. Some days good, sometimes bad. But I think what we children wanted more than anything was love. But I was always in trouble. Because when it came to Christmas, we always had a big Christmas tree. And they had them pink and white mice. And I crawled under <laughs> and started eating them. <laughs> and then when I was six, they took us to Derby homes. In my mind, I always wanted to know why she left us? What had we done? And everything like that. And it used to churn me up. And I got then that I never believed any adults. And we used to go to church. I used to be in charge of the little ones. We'd get there, all the women never spoke. Oh, they're here again. One Sunday, one of the priests come up, stood, hellfire, come straight to the kids. You are the spawn of the devil. You should not be here. And all I got was a little boy saying, Jeannie, I've wet my knickers. Can we go home? I can take the kiddies out. Before I come out, I got hold of the bell, the rope, and give it one good pull. <laughs> we were never allowed toys. We were never allowed a teddy bear. And if I went to love the children, put my arms round them, we got pulled away. Two days after that, we were on a train going to the nuns at Worcester. And the day I got there and that door was shut, my life, that was it. Here you are, here's your uniform, put that on, go and get a bath. And May Archer came with me from number 44. She was crying, and I put my arms around her. I says, we'll be all right, but we weren't. All we children ever, ever wanted was some kind words, a bit of love and understanding. But now I've got it 
tenfold. I feel merely now wanted and believed. I'm the happiest person in the world now. I'm with Friends of the Blind. I'm with the Stroke Club. I'm with the CBS Luncheon. And I'm with the church. So, uh, oh, and my bingo. I won't miss my bingo.